Uh, hello guys, Sangeet here. Uh, on the last uh, session we have covered, uh, we have created one Cloud Composer environment. And if you'll go to uh, GCP console, you can see that Cloud Composer environment dev is up and running. Uh, you can see the green tick sing, uh, signal. If you'll go inside, there is a uh, few of the information available for the Cloud Composer uh, like uh, DAG folder where we are going to store our DAG files and Airflow web UI. So the, we, we have already deployed few of the DAGs into this Airflow that I'm going to cover later then we are going to open this DAG folder where we can deploy our DAG files. So you can see the location from the Composer uh, environment variables. This is the DAG location where Composer is looking for all the DAG files in this bucket location. Now we'll see what next we are going to set in the pipeline. So we have our composure environment is set and running. Then we are going to design the DAG where we are going to create the on-fly data proc cluster. Then we are going to run and deploy our, deploy our code, uh, PySpark code into the bucket and run that code into this data proc cluster. Then after that, we are going to use the Google service APIs if you have the Google service like BigQuery, we are going to process the data in BigQuery using the data flow or data composer workflow. And then after that, the data uh, proc cluster is going to be decommissioned. This is the entire end-to-end uh, uh, -end pipeline that we are going to set up in GCP. Then we'll see our DAG code, how we are going to design our workflow. So this is the DAG workflow. It is completely developed in Python and DAG is natively supporting Python code. So few of the modules we need to import like Airflow modules, then few of the Google service APIs uh, like data proc operation, BigQuery operation, then Python operation and BAS operation. So at the beginning of the course, default DAG argument uh, we need to create where the start time of our DAG we can mention. So today is 21st, so I can mention 25 1st onward it will run. Then few of the other parameter like email failure we can uh, give, then retry how many times it will retry once it failed. Then the minimum retry duration is five minutes. Uh, once it failed the job or the uh, task, it will try for five, uh, try once, retry once after five minutes. Then here, uh, the models.dag we imported. Here, our task creation will start and we are going to use the uh, default DAG argument. So we, we passed here default DAG argument, then scheduling interval. Every day we want to schedule. So we have given date time uh, delta is equal to day equals to one. In, in a uh, delta of one day, it will run. Then these are some Python code we have created that some, uh, if you want to uh, import some Python model, you can import here or you can import from a file. Then we are going to create a data proc cluster. So here uh, we are going to import one function in uh, inbuilt function that we have imported few of the library on the top, data proc cluster creation operations. On that we have to configure few of the things like task ID, uh, all the tasks should have one task ID and it should be distinct in this file. And this uh, I have given create data proc cluster, uh, then cluster name. So I need to identify the cluster with a unique name so that later on I can delete that by, by that name itself. Or if I need to run any job into this cluster, I can refer this name. 
then I am configuring how many workers node as this is the uh, PySpark data proc is dedicatedly PySpark cluster. So I need to mention how many name nodes and how many worker nodes. So the uh, number of workers equals to two and region I have mentioned uh, Asia South one. Uh, you can mention wherever you are located and the key thumb rule is wherever you have created the bucket that region you can mention in this uh, cluster creation so that it is more likely to happen this cluster will be hosted in the same data center where your uh, buckets is located then uh, what is the machine instance type all this then i uh, this, this is i'm calling one uh, PySpark code i have deployed i have designed a PySpark code the PySpark code is this one very simple read the file and writing it to somewhere you can uh, this is a, just a demo so it is just reading just to show how PySpark code will work you can put lots of operations here later on uh, then i am uh, lo loading this code to this location so if we'll go to the bucket so this is the bucket location where the code deploy location and if you'll go to the code in the DAG it is pointing to code deploy and here I'm going to place this file this file is this one I have the created the PySpark code then I am going to upload the file here then file successfully uploaded now if we'll go to the code this is the PySpark code now the DAG code I have deployed the code to this location so that this uh, API will able to face this code PySpark code and run in this cluster that I have created on the previous task then after that once this uh, PySpark job completed and uh, did all the intended tasks to do then I am going to delete this cluster as I don't need this cluster anymore, I can delete this cluster where I can give the task name, cluster name, region name, and uh, trigger rules. Uh, if you have lots of jobs, then you can uh, put all your jobs to run in this data proc cluster. Then after completion of all the tasks, you can uh, invoke this uh, delete data proc. Then I, I am going to uh, uh, use the BigQuery component. So I'm going to uh, write one simple query to read the data from one BigQuery data set and dump, in, uh, dump the data to another table on BigQuery itself. Or you can design it later. Uh, you can uh, read the data from this data set, uh, this BigQuery table and dump the data to any of the buckets also. Uh, it depends on your uh, use case. So this is the BigQuery uh, component. Then after that, I am invoking uh, the Python code like hello world. Uh, then I'm uh, giving a goodbye message. And here I'm setting the dependency. So which task will run first? So first hello message will run the Python code. Uh, then the data proc uh, cluster creation. Then uh, data proc Python code will run in the data proc cluster then the data proc cluster will be decommissioned. Then after that, a BigQuery uh, job will run, then a goodbye message. This is all how the workflow will run and the entire pipeline will work as it is. Now I'm going to, my code has been deployed. Now I'm going to this DAG and uh, override this DAG. Uh, this uh, DAG already been placed. I can uh, see on the airflow uh, uh, what is the code and the code should exactly match with this one. Now I'll go to the airflow. Now this is the uh, uh, DAG already I have tested once, but I'll show you how to run it again. Uh, you just need to click on this DAG. Once you deploy your uh, DAG to this bucket, uh, the task name, I'll show you uh, how the DAG name, 
how the DAG name comes. In this model on the top section, the DAG name I have created, whatever the name you are giving, I'm going to give here, the same name will appear in the DAG. So this is the same name is coming. Then I can go to the graph view. So the pipeline will start from here to here. So this is once it ran and success succeeded. So I'm going to trigger it manually once more. So to trigger, click on trigger. Now if you go to the graph view, you can see the status it is running and uh, the uh, as uh, symbol means it succeeded. Uh, it's green, deep green signal. So it is uh, succeeded. Uh, sorry, the as signal uh, means it is in queue. The green, deep green signal, it is succeeded. If you'll hover it, you can see that a deep uh, uh, color it is appearing on the task. Then uh, create a data pro cluster. It is, uh, yeah, it started, it started running. I'll go to uh, uh, data proc service and I will see that one cluster would be creating. You can see one cluster creation has started. It will take hardly two to five minutes to uh, create a cluster. Now we can see the cluster has been created uh, and it is running. Now we'll go to the airflow and refresh it. Now the cluster creation completed. Now my PySpark code is running. If you'll click here, you can go view log. You can see what is going on. Or you can go to the data proc, you can click on jobs. And you can see my PySpark code is running. And here also you can view the log. And some error message has happened, like as uh, it is uh, very much similar to the error message that you received on the PySpark code or the Spark code. It is saying that Java IO exception where uh, this folder uh, is unable to delete, uh, fail to delete this part file. Uh, I need to see what is the permission issue, but the overall picture is this is how uh, your code is going to run. Then uh, your uh, PySpark code will try for uh, one attempt after five minutes, as we have mentioned here. Uh, retry once and uh, uh, interval time is five minutes. But if you don't uh, you want to exceed or you want to forcefully make it a success or forcefully uh, bypass this job and allow rest of the jobs to proceed like it generally used to happen in your uh, workflow. So I am forcefully making it as mark as failed So it has become a red symbol, which is fail symbol. Then the uh, next job has queued and it started running. So I'll quickly go to the BigQuery. Uh, this is, I, I'm dumping the data to this table. Select star from this table. my uh, underscore data set my underscore data set dot titanic underscore output the name I have given something wrong titanic underscore titanic Titanic underscore output. 
now you can see the previously the table was empty and after completion of this job uh, which is uh, doing insert overwrite into this table so i have written the query like insert into my titanic output select a group by clause from my titanic table and it is dumping the data to here so you can see the group by operation is working fine if i want to show you <clears throat> what is there in the titanic so the source table so the source table looks like this yeah so this is the source table it is uh, the survey of all the genders and uh, this is the survey data basically and it is having some males the genders male and female i am just trying to calculate uh, how many males and how many females are there so this is uh, what this workflow is going to do then after that the uh, by goodbye message it is going to display so this is the data proc if i'll refresh this <coughs> uh, data uh, delete data proc cluster then after that big query uh, uh, big query job has run successfully then after that the by message is displayed and I demonstrate to you that uh, a data proc cluster created, then data proc cl cluster deletion. So as this job has completed, if I'll go back to uh, this uh, cluster, the cluster would have vanished or deleted. But I showed you that uh, when uh, the, the cluster creation job ran, one cluster created here. Now as this job invoked cluster deletion, the cluster has deleted. Then the data, uh, the BigQuery job ran and i showed you uh, uh, the data came to the uh, titanic output and it showed the group grouping of male and female uh, and this you can see that previously the data was there then after i ran again the job so the duplicate data created that means the job is uh, running fine it is loading the data uh, the logic i didn't handle to remove the duplicate so anyway it is showing that uh, I'm just a demo uh, to show that data is loading into this table. Uh, this is all about the airflow and I demonstrated uh, the uh, working pipeline that generally we used to uh, design uh, the workflow uh, where uh, uh, and in this demonstration the advantage is that we, no we have not created a dedicated cluster so whenever we need a cluster we can create on fly that is the real advantage of the gcp or in the cloud so we need not to hold the resources for uh, lifelong uh, we need not to pay whenever you are not using just pay whenever you use and at that time only you just create the cluster uh, then the bigquery job i ran Uh, then I showed you how to create the DAG and how to create the dependencies. Then how to create one PySpark code and how we can invoke that in the DAG uh, flow. And how to create and upload your code. Uh, this is overall uh, a picture of how the uh, data pipeline looks like, how we can design a pipeline. Uh, we can uh, add more complicated logic or complex logic into it, but this is overall how the data uh, flow uh, and the DAG we can design. Till then, thank you. Bye.